Hi, I'm Ken German. I'm a lifestyle and business strategy coach and I'm a Unix Systems Administrator. I'm telling you about the Unix Systems Administrator stuff because that's one of my target markets for my business. And I want to help you connect with the fact the reasons why I got into this business and why I started my home business is because I took that 40% decrease in salary. I lost my house and we had just a huge adjustment in lifestyle as a result. Now I can't complain about my income because I'm still earning a six-figure income in my day job and people think that I'm a little well, why would you ever want to replace your six-figure income and the answer is simple is that outsourcing continues to be a trend the global economy is continuing to push down salaries for people in the technical fields Unix systems administrators engineers programmers continuing to pressure us down because they're able to go to other countries to find people to work those jobs and as a result our salaries are continuing to decline and we're continuing not to get raises in our jobs and we have to look for alternative ways of income to be able to create our own e economic recovery and have the freedom in our lives that we want to have um, and I'll be talking more about this in uh, upcoming webinars and upcoming videos um, but I, I have a new system it's, not, it's, it's a fun system see as I'm doing my videos I have these little post-it notes and what I do is I write down the points that I'm going to cover during the, my, my, my videos now so I'm focused follow one course until successful and I have it on my left hand side over here pasted to the monitor so I stay focused and on track because shiny shiny lots of things go, come in my head at one time the webinar I was going to do tonight at 8 o'clock is canceled I'm canceling it because my autoresponder service get response is under a massive denial of service attack and they are in the process of changing the infrastructure for their business so they no longer continue to be uh, uh, subjected to these denial of service attacks. Um, these denial of service attacks have been going on for several if, several months and they've been attacking a lot of high, um, high target, high value internet sites. They've been attacking autoresponders like Aweber, uh, MailChimp, all these other autoresponders and they're in the process of putting in the defense mechanisms to prevent these from happening again so that we don't keep on getting our autoresponder services and other services that we use on the internet interrupted so that's the webinar being canceled point number one I've written over here on my screen right over here um, number two when I talked about targeting earlier, and it never ceases to amaze me, the number of people who don't focus enough time or any time at all on targeting. They just kind of, it's, it's kind of like that monkey that's at, that's at the zoo and just flinging poo all over and they hope that something sticks. You're not going to have any success with that. You're going to hear this one time if you don't hear this from a thousand times from me. And I'm saying this a so many times because it's very 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 important we attract mirror reflections of ourselves to our life to our business every person that we attract to our business and to our lives is a reflection of some character trait or some challenge that we have in our lives that we need to overcome Now, when I started this, see, I'm itching all over. Anyway, when I started my, my wife, my wife is working another network marketing opportunity. Um, she loves cosmetics and skincare, and it's not Mary Kay. And when we first started that business, before I got into Empower Network, we were desperate. We wanted to, we, we were, you know, we were desperate, and we wanted to be able to, to, to get started. We want to have that success story. We, 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 we believed in the dream they were selling us, and and that dream is still possible with that other, with that other opportunity. But in order to get it to go where I want it to go, I'm going to have to build up the sales funnels and all the internet systems and the social media systems to be able to do it the way it needs to be done to help people be more successful. Um. So when I'm looking at who I am as a person and the mere reflections that I want to attract, 
you know, I have a, a billion dollar heart, at least, as far as giving and helping people. In my heart, in my in my in my mind and in my heart, I'm already a seven figure earner. I'm already learning from seven figure earners. So who do I want to attract? I want to attract people to my business that will go all in, no problem. Because they believe in my vision. They believe in what I'm trying to accomplish. And this kind of ties back to Dave Wood's video the other day, and I found it, I found it intriguing. Because the beginning of this year, Dave Wood had said on a video to launch this year that he wanted to create 20, he wanted to have 27 figure earners in Empower Network. This week, he changed it, which we can do. We're business owners. He wants to create and have 107 figure earners be a part of Empower Network which as far as I know, no other network marketing opportunity even has a chance of doing that for you. I don't know that there, I know the one that, you know, I know that there's very few of them that have seven figure earners in them at all. And when Dave Wood said that, this gets, I'm still sticking with the whole topic of the campaign of who I want to attract, immediately it popped in my head that I want to have 10 of those seven figure earners on my team. I want to be personally taking an active role and helping create and mentor and coach people to become seven figure earners. The difference between a hundred thousand dollar a year income, or whatever income level you have now to a seven figure earner is about your story. It's about your why. And I know that there are more people out there like me that are healers, that are coaches, that are engineers, that are being called to service. And they're seeking the solution of how they can serve. And in my mind, the best way for me to serve my divine purpose to help people is to help people establish successful, highly profitable home businesses that they can work two to three hours per day to create as much income as they're willing to work for. And that my vision for my business, the social proof of my success, is to help create, take an active role, mentor, and coach 10 people a year to become a seven figure earner. I'm gonna hit the $100,000 a year, $100,000 a month mark this year. No questions asked. I have no freaking clue how it's going to happen, but I can tell you that based upon the guidance that I'm getting from, my, from the people that are coming into my life and the messages I'm receiving from my guides and my angels, I'll talk about that on camera. I know it's gonna happen. And the scary part about it all is it's probably gonna be a bigger number than I think, which is okay. So getting back to staying focused, remember? Targeting, we attract mirror reflections of ourselves. So if I were Ken, which I am, who would I be targeting in my business? Unix systems administrators, technical people that are being impacted by the global economy. So if I were to, which I'm going to do, create a micro niche, and I'm gonna actually be creating several micro niches. The first micro niche I'm gonna be focusing on is targeting people that are Unix systems administrators. Then I'm gonna go after some other niches which I'm not gonna talk about now, but the idea is that who are you? What's your, what, what's your driving story that's getting you to create your business? 
when I was talking with a friend of mine, I was like, and I was like, well, did you consider targeting this group of people? You're part of that community. Why aren't you targeting those people? And I got the response, I don't know. Well, you should be attracting mirror reflections yourself, people that you want to work with, people that are going to go all in, people that you aren't going to have to babysit. We all go through this as part of your journey. You're so desperate, you're going to take anybody who, who spend the, the money and then they end up dragging your ass and being more of a pain in your ass than they're worth. See, I'll take ignorance on fire over knowledge on ice. I'll take somebody who has the passion and the drive and the vision and has no idea how to get to where they're going to go over some smart ass that thinks that they know more than I do. Those people I don't want. Well, I'm going to do it my way because I'm to... no, no, no. You do it this way because this is the way that the successful people are doing it. When you make more money than I'm making, you can do it your way. So we attract mirror reflections of ourselves. So the first campaign, which I'm going to be focusing on as soon as Get Response comes back up, is I'm going to be recrafting all these. I'm going to actually be deleting a lot of campaigns um, or just tabling those campaigns. I'm going to use those other campaigns for demonstration purposes. And then I'm going to be creating a campaign that's going to be specifically targeting my niche. My, I'm going to be specifically creating a micro niche for going after Unix systems administrators because that's part of my why. And I'll be creating other micro niches within that whole space of people who are affected by the global economy. So that's point two, a little bit longer than I thought, but hey, that's cool. We're learning something. Number three. This little thing on top of my head here is going to goodbye today. Drive me crazy. My hair gets up like this and it just drives me crazy. I'm like, you know, it's... And then my gray that my wife causes shows up more. Um, I love you, honey. I'm glad you're safe in Russia. I was glad to get that call this morning. I was really, really happy. Um, so, Great Cliffs opens at 10 o'clock here in another half hour. Actually, another 26 minutes. So I'm going to head over to Great Cliffs. Probably have Chipotle for lunch. It's one of my favorite places to go to for fast food because I don't go to McDonald's. I don't go to Burger King. The only two fast fast food places I go to are Panera and Chipotle. I, I just the other places. I mean, other than McDonald's French fries, which every so often I crave, which are just great. And I used to eat egg McMuffins all the time. Don't do that anymore. Um, haircut today. Now, I like to share funny stories with you, and I have a lot of funny stories in my life, but this particular story was a significant game changer in how I perceived my technical abilities, and I perceived the value of them. I used to work, and then my, my first technical job well, let's see. I've been in customer service all of my life. My first customer service job was at age seven working on a family business, and I have been in customer service jobs all my career. I worked in my family business as a landscape, as, as a landscape, uh, managing a landscape, uh, super, I was actually a landscape supervisor. I was, um, a salesperson selling uh, landscape supplies, uh, trees and bushes and shrubs, rocks, edging, all that stuff. I, 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 I was selling that at a very early age. I was a landscape architect at about age 10. Um, I spent most of my life, my early on life, hanging into my father's leg, listening to whatever my dad said. I was hanging on him. And I have an eidetic memory, near photographic memory. Uh, you give me an idea concept and I'll just like just hold just the whole thing just forms around the whole idea uh, before this funny story happened and it was it wasn't funny at the time it scared the hell out of me in a good way actually I'm going to tell you two funny stories I'm going to tell you this funny story first so you understand the second funny story. 
for most of my life, up until about age, my early 20s, I was kind of a know-it-all. I, I, I was a know-it-all and I would let you know about it. And there's a lot of things in my life that I could have done differently, but I don't have any regrets. I could have been summa cum laude in high school, but I felt it much better just to kind of coast through high school because blah, 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 blah. Um, the first funny story, and, and I love this story because my uncle doesn't remember it, but I do. I, I remember it crystal clear. My family owns a lake home vacation home cabin in northern Minnesota near near Cross Lake. And it has been in our family for about 45 years. And that's kind of also part of my vision or part of my thing I want to protect is that very, because being the middle child of five and being largely ignored most of my life, which is part of my other part of my why, part of my story, is you know the, the oldest and the youngest always get the most attention and I'm not, ooh, I'm not crying about it. Um, Being the middle child of five was largely ignored, so I had a lot of struggles, not only because of being the middle child of five, but also had a lot of struggles because of my gifts. So the funny story was, the first one, oh, sorry. When I get to where I'm going to go, I want to be able to take the, the family cabin and I'm going to buy it from my, my, my mom and dad, and I'm going to put it in a trust. And that will allow future generations of our family, my nephews, whomever else, to still have access to the, the cabin because that's been a very pinnacle part of my growing up as a child. I remember playing kick the can, water skiing, kneeboarding, inner, inner tubing, fishing, hunting, all the things that we did when growing up as a kid, and I want to protect that legacy. So the funny story is that when I was, I think it was around 10 years old or so, 10 or 12, somewhere around there, I used to spend a lot of time down on my own, because on, on, our, on our family lake, on our family cabin, most of my relatives have cabins on the same lake. My dad's brother lives two doors down. My mom's sister and my uncle have a cabin two doors down. Um, my my mom's brother lives on the same lake, and they're down about six or seven doors down the way. And when we were growing up, we always would hang out with the cousins and stuff like that. So it was a, it's, it's a very important part of our legacy. And I would spend a lot of time with my Uncle Mike and my Uncle, Uncle Rosie down at their cabin, and, and we would occasionally go into town and, and just kind of hang out. So, I always keep track of a lot of details and I always track a lot of stuff. And so my uncle Mike and I were driving in his truck to go into town to get, to get supplies. And we got on the topic of which direction the rivers are flowing. And I being the know-it-all, smart-ass, said, well, the rivers are flowing north because I remember going across the continental divide because the continental divide is the point in time and, and, and geography where the rivers no longer flow south they start flowing north and, and, and they split and I and I had swore that I we had crossed the continental divide coming to our way to the cabin he goes my uncle Mike is going no 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 that's not for another 10 miles up, up that road blah 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 I'm like no 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 you're wrong you're wrong you're wrong And as we're going into town, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking to myself, oh, no, we're going to cross a river going into town. Actually, two of them. Sorry, one. We're going to cross a river going into town. Maybe he won't notice. So as we're crossing the river, he slows down and he goes, Kenny, that river is flowing south. And me having to be right and being stubborn, 
Yes, I can be stubborn. I'm German, Irish, and Hungarian. Good combination for being stubborn, huh? Um, or Romanian, Eastern. My last name actually comes from an area called Bukovina. Um, so anyway, so we're crossing the river and my Uncle Mike is going, no, no, that's flowing south, it's flowing south. Uh, oh, no, it's not. It's flowing north. I, I, I don't want to be wrong, right? So he goes, we're going to stop at that river on the way home, and I'm going to show you which direction that river is flowing, because it's flowing south. Like, oh no, I'm in trouble now. So we go into town, and I'm hoping maybe he'll take his time. No, he gets everything done in a split second, really, really fast. I'm trying to stall. He grabs me by the ear, pulls me in the truck. We go in the truck. We drive back towards the river. He pulls off the side of the road. I'm trying to pretend that I don't see that we stopped. He goes, get your ass over here. Nobody's perfectly safe. He's got a compass in his hand. And he hands me the compass and he goes, and he shows me, he said, this is south on the compass. This is the direction that the compass is flowing. And this is the direction that the river is flowing. The compass is pointing south. I looked at him and I smiled. I looked at the river and I go, Uncle Mike, it doesn't look like the river's flowing at all to me. I got back in the truck. <laughs> and I will tell you the other funny story tomorrow, because we're about 20 minutes right now. Um, but that's just a little story about me growing up. Have an awesome day. I'm going to be getting my hair cut here in 16 minutes, so I can be looking very, very good tomorrow, looking more professional. Hopefully cover up some of this gray hair that my wife causes. I tell her this all the time, jokingly, because I love her. I miss her. Um, and that's the blog stuff for today. That's kind of the, the points. Webinars canceled. Starting a new campaign to be focusing on providing a business opportunity for my my people, Unix Systems Administrators. Um, I have some other micro niches surrounding around who I am and helping other people in that in that area as well. Getting my hair cut today. I told you the funny story. We're set. Have an awesome day, and I will talk to you tomorrow.